Think of these words, philosophy, mathematics, tragedy, democracy. They're all Greek words. So uh, if you really want to understand the modern world, uh, you really need to go back to the beginnings, to Greece and Rome. My name is Margaret Malamud, and I'm a professor of history at New Mexico State University. I've been here since 1992. I teach Roman history and Greek history. I also teach Islamic history. In my research, uh, for the last 12 years or so, I've been researching the classical tradition, and that is the uh, impact of Greece and Rome on European and American history and culture. I'm fascinated with the classical world for its own sake, the literature, the history, the art, the architecture, but I'm also really interested uh, in the impact that it's had on uh, European and American culture. I think it was having adventurous parents, actually, who, when I was 17, moved a family of six to Europe and bought a VW van and took us all over the Mediterranean and Europe, and I became fascinated with the Mediterranean. And I think it was actually traveling in these countries uh, and seeing the incredible architecture, the ruins, learning some of the languages that uh, really made me, when I finally went to college, decide that I was going to study classics and I was going to study Islamic history as well. This award is going to help me finish a project that I've been working on for a couple of years now. The project uh, examines or investigates the interest that free African Americans in the late 18th and 19th centuries had in the classics. It's important to me to see that the classics don't belong just to white people and to European people, that there, um, there was an interest in the very beginning uh, in in classics amongst the free black community in the United States, and that's been overlooked. Um, and there were even in the 19th century views that because blacks are inferior, this is the common view, they couldn't learn Greek. So uh, learning the classics became for some free blacks uh, proof that uh, they were not inferior to white people. And I thought that this was just going to be an article because I assumed there would have been very little interest. And in fact, it turns out that there's enough material for a book. And so I've been researching that project now for, for quite a while. And I hope to uh, finish it about halfway through um, this, this award. And then I'll be delighted to start a new project. The two places that I need to go are the Schomburg Center for African and Black Studies at the New York Public Library. And then I want to visit two historically black universities that were founded um, after the Civil War. I want to look at their records to see what kinds of classes were, were offered, what, what the examinations uh, were like, to see whether there are any papers uh, left from African American students after the Civil War at these universities. I don't think I would be the scholar that I am now if I hadn't joined the faculty here at NMSU. And I say that because, at least in my department, the history department, the emphasis is not on quantity, it's on quality of, of research. And I felt free here to be able to start a whole new area of research. And that's been incredibly valuable. Winning the Manassi Award, it's very gratifying. It means a lot to be recognized by one's home institution. It really is nice when, you're, when your own university says, you know, you really are doing a good job and you, you deserve something for this. So it's very gratifying. Margaret Malamud, Department of History, College of Arts and Sciences.